Good day, Bob. It goes. Our commencement exercises will begin in just a few moments. Frederick County High School would like to remind everyone this is a formal event to celebrate our 2022 senior class. Please be respectful of our students and for those around you. Once we begin, we ask that no one be on the field until the ceremony has concluded. We greatly appreciate your understanding. sweating down.
good. Good. All right, pick up. Good afternoon. I would like to welcome everyone to the Breathitt County High School Class of 2022 graduation ceremony. At this time, please rise for the procession of graduates and remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Breathitt High School, JROTC under the command of Sergeant Darren Anacano, and for the playing of the national anthem by the Breathitt High School Band under the direction of Mr. Bobby Schaus.
You may be seated. At this moment, Senior Colton Oaks will lead us in our benediction. Everybody. I know they just introduced me, but my name's Colton Oaks. Uh, I got a pretty good understanding of who most of you are. Most of you probably know me too. But, um, you know, I've been selected to give this year's graduation benediction. And uh, before I start praying, I'd like to say a couple things that I personally, and I'm sure some of you as well, are thankful for. Um, I'm thankful for all of us being able to be gathered here in this wonderful communion and celebration of us, our educational achievements, and everything that we have done. Uh, I'm thankful for the work that's been put into all of us by our great educators, by um, you know our parents and other school faculty. And I'm also thankful for the educational opportunities that have been provided to us by Breathitt County School System. You know, may it be next gen like I did, just taking college courses, career technical certifications offered at vocational, all of it. Um, they've been great opportunities, and uh, I really hope that everyone here has uh, seized them, or at least plans to seize them. And uh, I'd also uh, just like to say thanks for uh, everybody being here. But uh, now that I've said thanks, I have to ask that we all bow our heads in prayer as I begin the actual prayer part of the benediction. Heavenly Father, I pray for the continued sex and success and growth of all of us gathered here today, be they parent, teacher, or student. I pray that all of us continue to grow and evolve as we progress through our lives, careers, and educations. I pray for our safety as well as um, I pray for our safety as well as we continue down these paths, no matter how treacherous they may be. I pray that we overcome any obstacles faced um, as we continue down our lives. I pray that we grow stronger as well as we overcome these obstacles, and I pray that we have the strength to continue down the paths that we have chosen for ourselves. And I also pray that we have the strength to make correct decisions, logical decisions that we can also learn and grow from. Lastly, I pray that each and every one of us gathered here today can carve our own paths towards success and have the courage to follow our dreams and achieve success and happiness in our bright futures. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Colton. Now we would like to introduce our salutatorian, Jordan McIntosh, to the stage. I would like to start off by thanking the people who helped me and all of us get to where we are today, and bear with me because there is a lot. Thank you to principals Charlie Davidson, Bonnie Lively, and Daphne Noble for being great leaders for us the past four years and doing everything you can to ensure things go safely and smoothly here at Breathitt. Thank you to all of the teachers at Breathitt that have taught me so much, not only in curriculum, but also in life. 
Thank you to Kira Howard for helping me with any problem I had while I was at Breathit and allowing me to participate in programs that will help me in my life going forward like the Next Generation Academy. Thank you to the lunch crew, bus drivers, custodians, and all the faculty and staff of Breathit for keeping it afloat, clean, and all of us fed because this school would not be able to run without you. Thank you to all my friends and family for helping me whenever I need any of you and being the best support system I could ask for. Thank you to all the parents and guardians that have supported all of us and helped each of us get here today because none of us would be here without you. And finally, thank you to all of you, the class of 2022. I truly have loved these last four years of high school with you all and can only hope each of you feel the same way. Whether it was the friendships I have with many of you, the classes that we may have shared, or the teams we may have been on together, many of you have given me memories and friendships that will last a lifetime and I have cherished them. I cannot be more proud to be graduating in the class of 2022 with all of you. It is an honor to be awarded this year's salutatorian, but it has not been easy. After hours of late night studying, stressing out over tests and papers, adapting to virtual classes while taking my first college classes, and then readapting to coming back in person while taking my first in-person college classes, I can truly say that hard work does pay off. There are many times in which I was exhausted and fully ready to give up. Thankfully, thanks to the support of my friends and family, I stayed strong and stayed determined to do the best I could, and I cannot be happier that I did. The past four years have been anything but ideal, but even through all the troubles and hardships life presented us with, we persevered and made it here to where we are today. We have shown that when we put our minds to something, nothing can stop us from achieving it. Even with all the craziness in the world these past four years, we stayed strong and accomplished so much in our time here at Bethett, and I know our accomplishments will not stop here. As former United States Senator Orrin Hatch once said, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Today marks the beginning of the rest of our lives, a beginning I hope is filled with joy, friendships, and success for each and every one of you. Now that we are presented with new opportunities, it is time for us to take on the world and pursue our passions. I, probably like many of you, remember getting told to think about what I wanted to be for the rest of my life and to think about what I wanted to do after graduation and shrugging off the question because I felt it was so far off. Well, here it is. That time has come. I'm sure many of you have picked out the perfect career for your life, and many of you still have been unable to, quench, to answer the question of what's next. No matter what path we take, everyone here has the power to be successful, as we have shown by making it here. I have no doubt that every one of us can achieve anything we set our minds to. Today's ceremony is more than us receiving our diploma. It is a celebration of years of hard work and dedication paying off. A celebration of all the good and all the bad that led to us being here a celebration of the achievements we have made in the past four years, and most importantly, a celebration of the future that lies ahead for all of us. We leave here today as unfinished products, and it is my hope that I will get to see many of you as a fully blossomed form in the future. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the very, very best. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. We would like now I'd like to introduce our valedictorian, Jaden Harden, to the stage to address the class of 2022. Thank you, everybody. Before I begin, I would like to thank all the people who have helped me get here, including my teachers, peers, family members, father, mother, grandparents, and God. You have all been a fantastic part of my life, and I will never forget what you have done for me up to this point. Students, as I'm sure you're aware, today is the end of an era for us. As we walk across this stage today, we are leaving behind our high school lives and transitioning into whatever our adult lives hold in store. I'm sure many of you are nervous, as am I. Many of us are leaving behind some of the happiest days of our lives to face uncertainty and challenge. However, to get here, we faced many of the same things we face now. Throughout high school, many of us have struggled with things like classwork, athleticism, grades, and especially online school. To overcome these challenges, we've learned and adapted in every way possible, and we've made it. Here we are today, putting the challenges of the past behind us and coming out of high school equipped for the future. Yet we still have many challenges to face. 
As life goes on, we will have more and more obstacles that can only be overcome by using what we've learned. Our years here at Breathitt High School have only created a foundation for our education. The problem solving, critical thinking, and study skills we've learned here will serve as a springboard for our futures. Many people think that your education ends when you graduate high school or college, but that is simply not the case. As long as you live, you are continuing your education by learning more about crucial parts of your life. Therefore, when you leave here today, don't think of high school as the end of your education. Think of it as a new beginning and make the most of what you learn. If you are going to college, don't just aim for passing grades and minimal effort. Aim to get the most out of the knowledge being provided to you. Make your primary goal to learn, not just because that's what you're paying for, but also because that's what's best for your future. If you are going straight to work, don't just aim to do the bare minimum. Aim to improve your productivity and skill. Try your best to move up in your job and to overperform what is required of you. In the last in-person class meeting I had this year, my professor gave me the best advice he could have given me for my future. He said, when you go to university, enjoy yourself, but know why you're there. Know that your primary goal is to learn. I think that this is a great goal, not just for college, but for life. Even past whatever school we have, we must keep learning, growing, and becoming better. Overall, we should try to enjoy life, but never stop improving. Our education never stops. As we learn more, we become increasingly skilled and productive no matter what we are doing. As we grow more as people, we will be able to pass on our knowledge and aid in the progression of the world. President Calvin Coolidge once said, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. All of the wonderful minds here today have the capacity to give back to the world what they've learned. As you all learn and grow in your future, I have no doubt in my mind that you will overcome the challenges you face and leave a lasting legacy. Thank you all, and God bless you all. Thank you, Jaden. At this moment, would all seniors who are joining the military please stand to be recognized? Artis Fugit. At this time, we invite the 2022 senior class of Breathitt County High School to the stage to receive your diplomas. Would the first row please stand and come forward? Joseph Aguirre Duarte. Amber Allen. Haley Beck. Haley Beck. Amber Baker. William Baldwin. Bethany Banks. Kayla Barnett. Trenton Barnett. Kelsey Begley.
William Brandt. Derek Campbell. Kenzie Campbell. Amelie Carpenter. Haley Caswell. Isabella Cole. Anthony Combs. Jake Combs. Madison Combs. Allison Davidson Turner. Connor Deaton. Destiny Deaton. Shane Elliott. Elizabeth Fletcher. Ashley Fraley. Jessalyn Francis. AJ Fugit. Autumn Brooke Fugit. Joshua Fugit. Victoria Fugit. Danielle Griffith. Asher Gross. Caitlin Renee Gross. Sophie Haddix. Timothy Lee Haddix. Elizabeth Hall. Madeline Hall. Jacob Hamilton. Jaden Harden. Kaylee Hensley. Jerrica Henson. Colton Hurled. Kaylee Hurled. Matthew Hurled. John Hudson. Michaela Hudson. Tyson Hudson. Brian Hurt. Woo! 
Megan Jewell. Austin Johnson. Jaden Johnson. Morale Chesvig. Sarah Little. Caroline Long. Evan Lovely. Sierra Lucas Patton. Olivia Faith Mays. Jordan McIntosh. Emma McKnight. Marvin Tanner Milton. Dakota Miller. Janet Lee Miller. Roy Walker Miller. Jenna Montgomery. Who? Okay. Alexandra Moore. Reagan Mullins. Mackenzie Napier. Haley Nice. Larissa Nice. Sandra Kylie Nice. Brandon Nipper. <laughs> Douglas Noble. <laughs> Zachary Noble. Christopher Potter. <laughs> Lucas Raleigh. <laughs> April Shoemaker. <laughs> Joshua Raleigh. Angel Robinson Adriana Schutz Amy Shepard Brianna Shoemaker. Brianna 
Smith. Aaron Smith. Ethan Smith. Seniors, please stand. Seniors, as you have completed all the requirements set forth by the Breathitt County Board of Education and the Kentucky Department of Education, I declare you graduates of Breathitt High School, parents, grandparents, guardians, family, and friends, it is my honor to present to you the Breathitt High School Class of 2022. Seniors, please move your tassels. Congratulations, students. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you.